Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zero at your service. I'm going to do a review on the final episode episode of Zankyo no Terra. I gotta say Very well done when I looked at it in my own eyes and opinion, you know. I mean everything about everything that was set up to this point and now in time is just like really important in the end, you know? And if anything else right now, like when I looked at this episode, like um then seeing the other scenes, I knew something was just gonna go hap gonna happen, but I didn't expect it to end it that end that way. So if anything else, let's just get started. Okay, after the opening, you know, everybody is forced to evacuate the city. And 12 is found by Lisa, knocked out, and every circuit and the phones are really busy. And right now, Shibazaki is trying to figure out maybe the Sphinx, which is like 9, is trying to, he wants someone to know. And so far, like, um, Shibazaki calls her daughter about, like, um, the, um, about the bomb. And so far, like, um, at the Japanese... Air Force and so forth is trying to stop the bomb bomb while Lisa's at 12 side and she's all like crying seeing how she's he's okay and I think in my mind you big baby seriously well I'm not gonna lie I still am annoyed by Lisa due to the fact of what she was in this in the entire series I ain't gonna lie about that by that time after um they tr after the Air Force tried to get to the bomb, it was too late. Everything, everything was, every every airplane, Air Force plane is not, is now put down. Is had landed and the atomic bomb blew off. And it was nothing more than a giant star in my own eyes. And after that, like, um, <coughs> nine activates a device and it shows the, um, a green light, which was really, really cool. And I think in my mind, holy shit. By that time, like, um, Nine decides to make a grave for every single person who's been given numbers in the, um, experiment of the Athena project, you know, to honor them, especially Five, and I go like, that's really emotional right there, and Nine and Twelve reconcile as friends, and they end up playing with Lisa with the little ball, showing, the, showing off their soccer tricks. And by the time Shibazaki confronts 9 and 12 and talks to them, and later on, like, um, and later on, like, a 9 tells Shibazaki, you were Oedipus or something, you know? And later on, like, um, Shibazaki is gonna arrest them, but the U.S. Air Force comes out, comes out of nowhere, and right now, like, um, Nine says, I got this detonator right here. Right now, the, uh, the, of course, the atomic bomb may be gone, but I have another bomb implanted in the nuclear power plant. And I go, oh, shit, not good. And so far, like, um, what the guy who was talking to the, to his Air Force, he says, even if the, even if it's anything real, we like, there's nothing we can do about it now. And therefore, 12 was the first one to die, and that was really fucked up, man. Like, shooting shooting him from behind, and 9 screams in agony and pain to lose a friend that he's been with for a long, long time. In anger, he was about to detonate the bomb, but Shibazaki says, Wait, wait, let me talk to him. And therefore, like, when Shibazaki says, Hey, I'll make everything come to light, okay? Like, um, you know, you want everyone to to that you two put your that you two put your lives on the line for something you know and so forth and let me see what he let me see like um seeing how he, seeing how you two put your lives on the line for these people you know I understand that you know I understand that um and later on nine with much hesitation and reluctancy I think he might have like um uh, decided to give the detonator back to the, um, give the detonator back, hold on, let me see what she was out well, overall, like, um, she was out manages to talk nine out of this, you know, and by the time, like, um, nine gives the detonator to Shibazaki, and then he says, he wished for one thing, and everything comes to a blur, like, 
and so forth, you know, and I just go like, this was really emotional because his time was up, and he, is, he has only one thing that he wants Shibazaki to do. He did not wish for this or that, no poems, no war, no, no poems, no valor, no nothing. Just one simple thing. Remember us, he said to Shibazaki. That's it. Just remember us that we lived and he died. <sighs> After one year passed, everything came to like um everything is came to a conclusion and Lisa one year comes to nine and twelve's nine and twelve's gra grave and I go like Oh man, this is pretty um, hurtful. I don't know what she's doing now. And after that, Shibazaki meets Lisa and they talk to each other, you know, for a bit. And she thanks him for everything. And therefore, like, um, she tell Lisa tells Shibazaki everything about what Nine was saying. That Icelandic and V O N means hope. And I go like hope. And after the credits were playing with the music, I'm thinking in my mind. Holy dang, um, very emotional and so forth. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, I, I'm so glad I watched this series, you know. I thought I thought it wasn't going to be interesting, but the moment I watched the first episode, it was pretty badass, in my opinion, in my own eyes. Now, I'll be honest with you, like, um, I, I, I didn't know, like, I was going to enjoy this series very much, you know. Even though it may, it may have a couple flaws and backdrops, you know. But overall, I had a great ride with this series. Like, it's like a roller coaster in the end, you know. And by that time, like everything seems to be like um going to where I am actually glad that it went. You know, nine and twelve was eventually going to die because like th after doing those experiments they did, eventually they were going to die, just like five, you know. But she decided to die a little early by committing suicide. You know, like. This was a very good series, which I'm really glad I watched, you know. And I never thought, like, um, it would be this... I never thought it would end this way in a good way, you know. But the the ending came to a satisfy, satisfying conclusion, probably for me. So overall, this series, I'm glad I watched it. It was pretty good. 9 out of nine out of 10 is my final thoughts. 9 out of 10 for this series, you know. I'm really glad, like, um, things like... um got worked out in the end and came to a good satisfying conclusion in my own eyes. So if anything else, like one of the summer series that I'm glad I managed to finish to the very end of time. So if anything else, this will be the end of my review and my final thoughts. I'm Alpha Zero people and I'll see you all in my next video, okay? Later. Peace out and bye bye.